Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be filming a full face using only one dollar makeup and I've got the package right in front of me. I can't actually like remember what I ordered uh, but I know that I didn't order like 50 products. A lot of their products were uh, sold out. You have like face masks on there and makeup brushes as well and I'll leave the link to the website in the description box below because I know that it's really good to get affordable makeup and especially if it works but I don't know if it works yet so let's open up the package and see how we go. Now it comes like this and it comes in like bubble wrap and stuff so I ain't mad. Oh and it's got cute little packaging it says Miss A. Oh I don't remember ordering this much stuff. I got a anti-redness face mask, which was obviously a dollar. Smooth definition pressed powder, that is way too dark for my face. A mascara. It says Pro Big Mega Lash Waterproof Mascara. Whoa. That is intimidating. These lashes are really nice. Look at those lashes. A three in one foundation stick. I hope I got a primer. I don't think I did. Wonder Metal Liquid Lipstick. Concealer crayon. Waterproof eyeliner. Like, I will admit, this is actually really hard to get open and sometimes, you know, it's good because I don't want your makeup broken. A mineral powder. This, but they're all shimmers, but I can, I'm sure I can, you know, use the bronzer and maybe a shimmer on the lid or something. Okay, so there's everything and I didn't get a primer, but let's just go ahead and get started. I look like a turtle. Oh, everything's just so hard to open, like I was not expecting this, I just wanted it to be easy. So I'm just going to have to, it honestly looks like plastic, like it's really shiny. It looks like it's really sheer coverage color match myself pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this all over my face and then I'm going to go over it with a beauty blender. It's really creamy but also really hard to apply like as I'm going like this it's really like dragging my skin. It's showing a lot of my pores which I'm not a fan of. So this is what it's looking like on the skin so far. It's not covering up this blemish that I have here. And it's not covering up any of my freckles. It is one dollar, like you. What really baffles me is how can they make a profit? How are they selling makeup for a dollar and like keep their business running? Looking close up, it actually looks really nice on the skin. But when you go close up, you can see that it's sort of sticking to a few of the dry patches on my face. I also didn't buy a primer with it, so maybe if you use a primer it would have a different effect on the skin. So now that that's done, I'm going to move on to concealer. So the foundation stick that I used was in the shade Cool Beige, which was actually my shade. And this concealer didn't have a shade name or anything, so let's just see how we go. I didn't buy any of their brushes, but I know that they have brushes on their website, so I'll just use affordable brushes. So I'll just use a Real Techniques brush to blend this all in. Well, these products dry out really quickly, but you know, you're paying one dollar for something. I'm gonna set my face with this uh, mineral compact powder which is in the shade Too Natural. And I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush for this. Oh, whoa, I actually like this powder. Wow, this powder is really full coverage. My skin actually looks really nice, but it's just not that full coverage, which is fine. Okay, so now let's move on to uh, bronzer. <laughs> It's really cute, it's got like these little flowers on the bronzer. It's got a little mirror, which you know, some high-end makeup brands don't even have a mirror in their 
um, compact thing. Very orange. <laughs> I can't believe how orange it is. And it's blending out nicely. It's not like terrible. It's just a bit, just feel <laughs> it's a bit orange. I actually, maybe I put a bit too much on this side, but this side is looking, this side is looking okay. Not a disaster, but they're just, my under eye concealer is creasing a little bit. Let's use some blush. Now this blush is very pink. Very pink. Wow. This side of my face is just a disaster. It's not, it's not blending out. I'm doing the best I can. Okay, let's just forget about this, the face. It's not terrible, but I think it feel like you just have to use a really light hand and it takes forever to blend out. Let's just go in with uh, the blush again and we can use that as a transition shade on my eye. This blush is working really well as an eyeshadow and I'm really happy with it. As an eyeshadow, yes. As a blush, no. In to this professional, this professional eyeshadow palette, um, they're all shimmers. You can't really see it on the camera, but they are all shimmers. I'm gonna go in with this color here and I'm gonna pack that all over my eyelid. It is a little bit chalky, but it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty easy to use, like if you're a beginner, which I still am, <laughs> this stuff is great. Especially the brushes, like a dollar brushes. Looking okay. Now I'm just gonna go in with the blush again and do my under eye and I'll be right back. Let's see how this eyeliner performs. It's blue! Why did I get a blue eyeliner? It's actually really nice. Okay. Well, let's just... I don't know why I got a blue one. Maybe all the black ones were sold out, but... Let's just see how I go. I got it in my eye, and my eye is turning blue. It's actually... I just blinked. It's really pigmented and I am a fan. I really like the eyeliner. And that's how you make it work when you stuff up your eyeliner. <laughs> I really like this eyeliner. It's still stuffed up. I just won't do this because then you can tell I really stuffed up there but that's because I blinked and it went because I looked up and it went on my but that's okay it's actually looking uh, you know not too bad I still don't know why I got a blue eyeliner but you know we're just gonna use it anyway now the eyeliner was really hard to work with because of the um, wand and like I would move it and then it would be really thin and then it would grow thick really quickly. I don't know how to explain it. It is really pigmented and I'm actually a really big fan of it. You just, I would maybe put a little bit on the back of my hand and then use a different brush to use it because um, I don't actually like the applicator but I really like the formula. And so I'm just going to go on with the mascara. Just mind the way. I really did try and make it work but it just, I don't know why I got a blue eyeliner. 
don't know what was going through my head. This mascara is really lengthening my eyelashes. Look at that. That's just one coat. I haven't even finished it. Look at the difference. That's the eye with mascara. No mascara. I can't believe how much that's lengthened my lashes. I will definitely be using this mascara again. Let's just say, I actually really did try and make this makeup look work. I'm just really disappointed with my eye. I'm sure if you're a little bit more talented than me, you could definitely do it. <laughs> Why does one eye always come out better than the other eye? Did I get eyeliner on my lip? So confused right now. Whoa, that's awesome. Look, if you're going to a festival, this would look okay. But for me, I'm not going to a festival. Overall, I liked the uh, blush as an eyeshadow. I liked the pressed powder. I liked the mascara and the eyeliner except for the fact that it was a little bit hard to work with the eyeliner or I'm just terrible at eyeliner. Bit of both. Um, and you know my skin doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't look too bad. Like, I feel like the bronzer has settled a little bit. Not really. Maybe, I don't know. It is very orange. But the foundation actually matched me really well. And, um, I'm sorry, I just can't take myself seriously with this makeup on my face. Yeah, I personally wouldn't reach for the foundation or the concealer again. I would use the pressed powder, definitely. Um, and I would also use the blister lashes and I think that the lashes are awesome but the lipstick did not transfer at all it's really not coming off guys it's not coming off <laughs> it's really matte am I pretty yet? maybe I should just colour my whole eye in blue This honestly could be a dupe for those um, Urban Decay glitter liner things. Oh, I just want to take this makeup off my face. <laughs> oh, let's try the face mask. Just a quick update everyone. Um, the eyeliner is actually burning my eye a little bit. I'm just going to take this makeup off and I looked at myself really close up in the mirror and I can see that my under eye concealer has pretty much uh, caked up or like creased up really badly and it's flaky, it's turned really flaky and um, so has the foundation in a few areas of um, my face like around my nose. Um, It's not coming off. Oh my god, it actually is not coming off. Oh my god, the eyeliner. It's actually... Oh, the smell is really giving me a headache now that it's coming off my face. It's really strong. I honestly feel so gross after taking all that makeup off. Like, it just... Let's try the anti-redness face mask and see if this actually works. So it comes in this cute little packaging which I really like.
Oh my god. I don't know if I want to put that on my face because of the smell. It honestly smells like whiskey. It feels, <laughs> I feel funny, but it feels alright on the skin. It says cleanse and tone skin. Unfold sheet mask and place it on your face. Relax for 20 to 30 minutes. I don't want to keep this on my face for that long. It says that this sheet mask has a five berry complex formula that helps soothe and revitalize sensitive skin while reducing redness. Probably should have read this while the thing wasn't on my face. I'm gonna like, try and leave this on my face for at least five minutes, but the smell is like actually really overpowering and I don't wanna leave it on my face for that long because I'm worried. It's very, very strong. <laughs> So I've left the face mask on for like five minutes and it's starting to like burn these parts of my face and I really don't like the feeling of it. Okay, so I just washed the face mask off my face and honestly I am just really not a fan. I feel like when you put something on your face you need to be really cautious of what it's doing to your face and I still feel like a bit of a tingling burning sensation and I really don't like that. I'm not a fan. Um, I think if you're on a budget, this $1 dollar makeup could really work for you and the brushes especially could really work for you. I personally would not repurchase from this website. Um, maybe the brushes, yes I would if you wanted me to do like a video on using only affordable brushes or something like that. I would definitely do that, um, but I would only really... I actually wouldn't use any of the products again, maybe just the blush and that's probably about it because the eyeliner ended up burning my eye and um, the lip, the lip uh, gloss or the matte liquid lipstick actually was really hard to get off and it's still on my, still a little bit on my arm where I swatched it and I scrubbed like really hard to get it off so good for them for having such a great formula but personally I'm more cautious to what ingredients go in there. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and I hoped you liked it. Um, sorry that I <laughs> didn't make the eye look as pleasant as I thought it would be and I have no idea still why I purchased a blue eyeliner. Anyway, um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You should subscribe. <laughs> You should subscribe. Alright, let me. Why would I even. Subscribe!